Now, in this next video, I want to talk about the features of the face. We've talked about a little bit of the structure, the skull, um, just how the features are attached. And so now I want to talk about the features. Now, in, the, in these initial lectures that I'm going to be giving, you'll probably find a little bit of overlap with some of my other courses where I talk about character design and, and human anatomy. And I, and I go over expressions in those areas to, talk, to, to give you better uh, uh, emotion for your characters. For this, we're going to touch on some of the same subjects, but I want to go a little bit deeper. And so I'm going to talk about the features. I'm going to brush over that a little bit, but I want you to at least have a, a basic understanding of where the main features that we recognize, where, where we get those cues. That's going to be the features on the face, okay? Some of the stuff I'm going to talk about is obvious, and some of the stuff will be some light bulbs going off, okay? So let's just jump into our drawing here. So let's just draw our first uh, a head, just a typical head. Let's make it a little cartoony. Okay, so we got an ear with a slightly three-quarter view, okay? So let's talk about the features. What are the features that are going to give us expression? Well, I mean, we've got one of the features on the head is an ear, right? Well, we don't, we don't get expressions from ears. Unless you're a dog or a cat, you're not going to get anything from that. So that's why I want to bring up what features we see. We've got a nose. Now, can we get... Can we get expression from the nose if we have no other no other uh, uh, features on the face well I say you can now obviously it's not going to be as strong as other features on the face and I'm kind of going from the least to the to the most expressive so if you think about the nose here we've got a nose right here the nose nose here we've got a nose okay now what if we took that nose let's erase it now what if we did this What if we scrunched it way up? Like so. You got a little scrunch right there. You're not going to have double lines there, but you'll have kind of this scrunch right there. Now there's the nose contracting. The muscles of the of the of the nose and the, and the brow and all that kind of contracting. Now, what do you get from that? Well, there's several different emotions you can get from that. It's not happiness, right? But you might get anger. You might get disgust. You might get contempt, which is another emotion. So the nose can convey emotion. Okay, so let's go back. So I want you to think about that. A lot of times we just think about, you know, the, the mouth and the eyes and the brow kind of con conveying emotion when in actuality, there's a lot more features on the face than you might think are going to help convey emotion. So there's our nose right there. So the next one is, let's start with uh, obviously our mouth. Let's go to our mouth. So I'm just going to draw a neutral mouth right here just like that and what's funny is I challenge you to draw a mouth completely neutral like right now I've I'm trying very hard to get this mouth to feel neutral but the mouth to me right now almost feels like there's a little bit of a smile to it and I don't and it's so hard to make a mouth feel like there's no emotion whatsoever. I'm going to have to pull these. And that's the thing. We are so, as humans, we are so hypersensitive to any cue. Look what I'm doing. I'm pulling these corners down ever so slightly to get that mouth to feel more neutral. We are so hyper aware of any kind of little microscopic little cue that um, to, to convey emotion, 
we've spent millions of years looking at other people to convey emotion from a social standpoint. You want to know when to approach somebody and when not to approach somebody, right? And so those two places with the mouth, with the teeth, and the eyes and the eyebrows, those are going to be our main facial cues. And that's what I'm going to get into here. But like I said, the nose and other features on the face, they'll still uh, have some kind of effect. Um, but watch this. You know, I can, I can go again. And if I just go, watch how, sm how slight this is. So slight. Now he's got just the slightest bit of a smile. And this is what I want you to understand. You know, when we talk about these seven main emotions, we, we talk about happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, surprise, and contempt. Um, those, that's not the number of facial expressions we have. You don't have one happiness expression. You don't have one anger expression or one sadness expression. Um, one thing I like to think about is, you know, compare them to colors. And if we think about color, at least from a painter's standpoint, all color basically comes from red, blue, and yellow. Those are our three primary colors. And then we derive all these subtleties and all these other colors by, by some kind of mixture of those three, and the, along with white and black as, as well. But we can, we, we can achieve all these millions of colors just through these three primary colors. Well, think of our expressions in the same way. Instead of three primary expressions, we've got seven primary expressions. We've got happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, surprise, and contempt. But then you can, there's so many subtleties within those those expressions, millions of subtleties within those expressions. And I'm going to go over some of that later on to show you how subtle you can be and still be within a certain, um, a certain, you know, category of expression. Think of it, for me, it's like going into the grays when, you know, when I do a painting, I love to, I love colorful grays because grays give you subtlety, but they can, you can shift from warm to cool. You know, grays can be very, very powerful in your, in your palette. And I think grays and expression are the same thing. It's, it's subtlety of expression. Okay. So there's, I'm going to keep working on the mouth. So there's, there's just a neutral mouth, but if we want happy, and once again, I've talked about this in other expressions or in other uh, courses, as far as when I talk about expressions, we want happy there's happy right sorry about my dog he's back there sneezing away and running around you know we put our eyebrows up give it a little little move like that and there's our graphic expression for happy and it's the same thing here if i'm gonna i'm gonna do this so i'm just matching that same icon and then, but that, that'll just add the anatomy of the lips. And we'll push the cheeks being pushed up right here. I'll darken that upper lip just because it'd be in shadow. But there's a mouth coming up. Now, if that mouth is pushing the cheeks up, then we're automatically attuned to feeling the cheeks push out here and stretch out right there. There it is. Let me get rid of these lines here. And then we can push here. Maybe have a little dimple. A little dimple there. But look at this. So all we have is a mouth smiling. Maybe a little bit of around the nose. But really, that's it. And you can you know that there's a joyful face here. There's no eyes supporting it. It's just the mouth, just the nose. And theoretically, we could take that nose out. And you still got a smiley face. Okay? So let's take that face. Let's come back down. Once again, I'm just trying to show you the individual features because I want you to see what each one, the power that each one carries just on its own. So now, obviously, if we want to do this, 
Let's leave the eyes the way they are on our little iconic one. And now, oh, now he's sad, right? Well, let's do the same thing. And we've all seen little babies pout like this. We get the lip in here. We're pulling the corners of the mouth down. There, there's a nice clear expression, even without the eyes. Now, the thing about this, though, that we that's different than the smile, is that this could be anger, this could be contempt, this could be several different expressions. Whereas with the smile, it usually it's all about joy. Although there could be a couple of, depending on where you, what you do with the eyebrows and a the smile, there could be a little bit of embarrassment. You know, these are the subtleties that I was talking about. And when you start combining all the features, that's what allows you to get across these different mixtures of emotion and subtleties. So there's that. So let's go like this. What happens if we take that same mouth and we do it on, we just kind of crinkle the mouth on one side. Well, contempt is one of those emotions where it's kind of the only emotion where you kind of work on one side. It's that like I'm disappointed in you kind of look. Hmm. Like so. And you might even bring one eye, eyebrow up as well in conjunction with it. But we're going to stick with just the mouth, mouth right now. Let's do another one. All, and notice one of the things that I'm doing is keeping these, these mouth shapes simple. I start with that, that line the, the, where the lips come together and then I build the lips on top. In this case, we're going to stretch a little bit. Let's clean that up a little bit right there. We're going to bring that chin right pretty close to the bottom lip because that, that jaw is turning down away from us. Let's build these lips on. Now, all I'm, I'm purposely, all I'm doing is opening his mouth. I'm not really giving it any expression. Purposely just opening his mouth. I'm doing this. Now, if we had the eyes to support it like this, then we might have something that looks like surprise. Let me take it off. See, now they both kind of have the same expression. So it really is those eyes that give it the, the surprise. Let's look at that icon again. Surprise. See there? Now watch what happens when I just change the eyebrows on here. Now it's more, oh my gosh, it's almost horror. Like they're watching something horrible. And it's sad. Like so. I'll change those eyes to this. Now they're yelling at you. Get off my yard. Okay. And I want you to always think when you're working, when you're thinking about expression, always think in this term right here, these little icons, these little happy faces, sad faces, whatever they might be, because that's what you want to shoot for when you strive towards getting the clarity of emotion across. Always shoot for that, okay? Now, I can take this mouth. Now, watch what we do. We've done it before as kids. Now, instead of just opening it up, what if we go like this? The mouth is open still, but you got this, ah, you, yeah, you just, he's really mad. Arr. Almost like a pirate, right? So now I'm going to do the same thing here, but more of a realistic version. There we go, we get the lips up there, show the teeth. Show the teeth here. So 
So now this mouth is all of a sudden getting the expression. And now it's showing some expression. Ah, it's showing some disgust. Okay. Now, why is that? It's because it's these corners. It's where we find the corners of the mouth. It's the same with eyebrows. When eyebrows are neutral, they're straight across. It's where we find the angle, where they, where they, whether they go up or go down. And it's the same with the mouth. Is whether it goes up or goes down gives us an emotional cue. And that's it's, it's as simple as that. So here we have everything pulled down, this upside down U kind of shape right here. And it gives us this look of disgust or anger. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing. But now, let's do the mouth. We're still going to have it open. I'm going to even do it as a little, little crooked. I've pulled those corners up. Still keeping a simple shape. Just like that. Now, all of a sudden, we've got that open mouth, but it's happy. Okay? So, you've got... Here's our happy shape for a mouth. Coming in like this. Okay, let's go happy. Happy. And then we've got that angry shape, right? I didn't put teeth in here. I should put teeth in. Right? So that's anger. Or disgust. And then, when we, there's the corner of the mouth there, there's the corner of the mouth there. When we just open the mouth, we put the corner of the mouth right in the middle, it's neutral. It's just, ah, uh, or it's just yelling. Neutral, okay? So keep that in mind when you're doing your mouth. You want to make sure you're pulling that, those corners in the right direction, all right? And don't make those mouth shapes really complex. Keep them simple, all right? If you're doing the open, open mouth, just make it open this way it's like a bowl that way or an upside down bowl this way okay so let's jump to eyes now I'm gonna leave that mouth on there the way it is just to see what we get because it's gonna be interesting so let's go to eyes over here we've got an open smiley face let's go to the smiley face on here the open smiley face so there it is like that. So when we have that, let's pull those eyebrows up. Hey, hey, I'm happy. That's, that's like a, I'm happy to see you or that was a great shot. You know, happy surprise. You're just normal happy, right? So you can get a lot of degree and subtlety with what you do with those eyebrows. All right, so let's do the same thing here. Let's bring those eyes in. Make them a little cartoony. Let's have him looking at the viewer here. Hey, look, he doesn't even have eyebrows, but he feels like he's happy, right? Yeah, it's because of that mouth. We're pulling those, pull these, we're going to pull these eyes down just a little bit because of 
the stretch of the jaw, pulling the skin down. But one of the things I like to do is look at the shape of this eye. Let's, let's, I'll show you out here. Look at the shape of the eye. Now, a cartoon eye is somewhat like something like this, or any variation on it. But even, even a realistic eye, we get something like so. Here's a realistic eye shape. Okay? Now, the way the brow sits, think of it as like, like this. Here's the shape of the eye, and start mimicking that shape on a larger scale. And you can bring it out like that, okay? So here's your eye shape. Here's your brow shape. See how I'm mimicking that same eye shape with the brow. And so in here, we go, okay, here's my eyebrow coming up and coming down. And it comes off the nose here, follows up, and comes down following that same eye shape. Okay? That's how I like to think about using the brow. And it keeps it kind of uniform. But here, it's, it, in this case, it feels like it's a little bit, here's the eyelids, feels like it's a little bit neutral. So let's follow that same, here's the peak, right? Let's bring that peak up. Here's the peak of the eye right here. We'll bring that peak up like that. <clears throat> let's follow that same formula, but let's push the tops of the eyebrows. We'll go up to the same peak now and then bring it back down. Let's erase this one. We'll go pull this up. We'll go up to the same peak, pull it down. Now we've got something that feels more, hey, hey surprise. Okay, we don't have to bring this one as far down like that. And, I, and you might get some wrinkles up here. Oh, look, and that's how you're opening. You open up that expression, right? Now let's take it now, pull it way up. And because we're pushing, we're pushing our expressions. This is what I, you know, I want this to be... Um, I want you to exaggerate, you know, get in the habit of trying to exaggerate your expressions, even with, um, even with realistic imagery. Uh, I think you can get away with pushing one way or the other. Look at, uh, if you look at Norman Rockwell, Norman Rockwell did very realistic illustrations, but they were pushed. They were, there was a little bit of uh, uh, cartooniness to them, even though they were meant to be represent, representative or representational. And I want you to kind of think of doing that. It gets across clarity. See, so look, I've pulled, I've pulled the, the brow up. There's muscles here contracting, pulling the middle of the brow up, and now we get a more of that surprise, see? But I'm still trying to stay on the same kind of shape of the eye. It, it radiates out. See what I'm doing? Think about this shape. Here's the peak of the eye, and I keep that peak in the same place as I go up. See? Now, let's go the other way. So now, I'm going to take these eyes. I'm going to keep that mouth open. Okay, okay. What, what can we do with that brow now? Well, let's keep that same peak. Now, I'm going to push these, the skin of the brow, or the eyelid, I mean, down a little bit because we're bringing the brow down. Okay, and we got muscle right here that contracts. We're going to bring these eyebrows. There's the peak right there, just like before. But now we're going to bring that brow down in here. Now you've got something that might feel a little mischievous or maybe even just downright evil. Okay. Now we can push it even further. Watch, whoops, watch this. We can take it, let's push that brow right down. How far can we push that till it feels like it's too far? You got a big wrinkle here in the eyebrow. Look at that, you can get really and down in there. Urgh. 
Look at that. So don't be afraid to really push. Get maybe wrinkle in here. Let me get rid of that wrinkle there. Just like that. Maybe a little shade. You know, once we, I'm going to go into uh, light and shadow a little bit and how it affects expression as well later on. But I wanted to show you here. You know, you get that brow coming way down. That's going to cause a shadow over the eye. You know, that really adds to this dark foreboding kind of look. But he's smiling at the same time, which is this creepy, you know, kind of look. Here's Johnny kind of thing. But now, now we've got this expression. Let's do our... Notice, I'm going to just push it off center. I'm going to change the shape of the face, too. Because that was for the open mouth. There, see that? Now you got a whole different expression. Actually, I don't like it off-center like that. There we go. We'll pull those cheeks out. Bleh, he's so mad. Might even get a little bit on the chin right there. There. And you could do that. Scrunch up the nose. Like I was showing you earlier. I was going to get more disgusted. Like so. So the whole point of this video was to show you the features and how different combinations of the features are going to produce different emotions and there's going to be a lot of subtlety in between remember i'm likening it to color these the seven primary kind of expressions which are happiness sadness anger fear disgust surprise and contempt those you know you can you can get those across and i'm going to i'm going to do a video for each one of those but the it's it's important to see that those features are they are so, uh, well, obviously, they are so um, integral to getting those expressions across. But it's really, it's the, it's the mouth and it's the eyes and the brows. That's where it's going to be with a little bit of getting that nose in there because we're going to get some expression with that nose. Those are the features. And remember also thinking about those cheeks and where they are, you know, uh, when you're what, like smiling or, or having a hap or a sad face, that sort of thing. So um, I think that's enough on features. I think you can understand that now and how they're attached to the skull. We've covered the skull. Let's go ahead and move on to the next video.